All right, I have come to cheer y'all up about the state of politics in this great nation. I know you think that uh, it is looking dark and gloomy. Cheer up, it could always be worse. You could be living in Texas. I bring to you our own Molly Ivins. Molly Ivins appeared in papers all over the country. How many legendary print journalists are there? I'm a Texan. I drive a pickup truck. I drink beer. I hunt. I'm a liberal. So what? Molly came in like a house of fire, making riotous fun of the legislature. Representative so-and-so has the IQ of an adolescent piss ants. I see him in the Capitol the next day and they say, baby, you put my name in your paper. I accidentally became an authority on George W. Bush. Like the guy who climbed Everest, it was there. The people who Molly took apart were the right people to aim at, and they knew it. What's your take on Newt? The draft-dodging, dope-smoking, deadbeat dad who divorced his dying wife? Molly could be very rough on progressives. In my opinion, the Democratic leadership is gutless to an extraordinary extent. I had been asked to join the New York Times. They wanted Molly for the unique voice, the iconoclast, but they wanted her to fit into the times. As we say in Texas, that dog don't hunt. Damn, it's good to be back home again. Where it can make a difference in Texas. What the hell they need with one more liberal in Berkeley, California, for God's sake. Texas has always been the national laboratory for bad government. Major daily publications were buying her column and not running it. You bet there's censorship. Anytime you do the kind of work Molly did, there's a price to pay for it. Molly got death threats, threatening letters. I think of you as a hateful, lying left liberal. We keep pretending that the political spectrum runs from right to left. It doesn't. It runs from top to bottom. It's not those people in Washington. It's not those people in your state capital. This country is run by us. Somebody has got to look them in the eye and speak truth. And she did.